Upgrading PHP or Laravel version is quite boring and quite repetitive and it gets difficult and time consuming, right? What if I told you there is a tool that makes this process a lot easier and automate a lot of boring stuff? Let's meet Rector PHP. So today we will be exploring this tool and how it help us with our common use case of upgrading PHP, upgrading Laravel and automatic refactoring. First thing we need to install it. I've already installed it using this command. Let's go into a fresh Laravel project where I have already installed Rector PHP. The first command that you want to run is vendor bin rector and process. So this flag dry run, um, this is just to give you preview of what this command will make changes. All right. So let's first uh, try to run this command. So on first run, it says that there is no rector config file. So it wants to generate with all the uh, default configuration. I will say yes. Now we need to rerun command to make uh, rector do the work. All right, so it changed uh, 13 files and it actually didn't change it, it just uh, showed us uh, different changes that it will run whenever we remove the drive flag. So it changes uh, these file, it added the return type, void, and yeah. So this is a very basic form of uh, automatic refactoring or upgrade so it help us to make these kind of repetitive change it did for us without anything so there are a lot of things that you can do this is very basic form which comes out of the box uh, let's uh, go to rector.psv file that just has been generated when we run command so let's uh, explore what are the options we have and what are different options in this file means. First thing we have this width path method. This is um, just way of telling rector that it rector will look into these directories and try to make changes. So we are just uh, saying that look into these directory and make automatic changes that we tell via rules. So the basic of this rector, how it works is there are different rules that are defined that comes by default with rector PSP and the group of rules are called sets and different sets are getting applied whenever you make any changes on the rector.config file. So you may choose to which uh, rules you want to apply. So as you can see by default, it comes with uh, these kind of rules. We'll uh, learn about what these do in a moment. So first thing, let's comment out everything and then we'll go from scratch. So for now, I don't want to want rector to look into any other directories. I will comment these out. Uh, I want uh, Rector to only look into my app directory and make changes there. All right. Now let's keep things simple. So second thing is uh, let's explore the first use case where we want to upgrade the PHP version. All right. So there might be use case like uh, let's see in our composer JSON which PHP version we are using. So the minimum version is 8.2 and there are use cases that you are currently in 8.2 but you are, your code base is not utilizing all the latest features that are on 8.2 version of PHP. All right. So instead of you going manually to each file and making all the latest changes that are that has been added on 8.2 it is quite repetitive and boring right so rector will do all of those uh, latest changes for you without doing anything on your side 
automatically all right so for that what we need to do is we need to uncomment this line all right so if we keep uh, just like this what it will do is uh, it will it will try to um, reach to your current version all right so if your project you have been um, let's say your project was initially started on PSV version 7.1 or 7.2 and then you came back all the way to 8.2 now and now you decided to use Rector PSP then what Rector will do is it will try to make all the changes up to current version meaning it will try to change make change um, what are new things added on 5.3 5.4 7 7.1 all the way up to 8.2 so there will be lot of changes whenever you just do this all right uh, so you can find this on their documentation as well uh, very good documentation for new project uh, it um, recommend us to go slow and here the thing then I'm talking about is whenever we leave like this uh, it will invoke all these rules so actually these are sets which um, it will apply and inside sets there are a lot of rules so instead of doing that uh, what you can do is uh, let's say um, you only want to first so first thing is to you want all the new changes that are on 5.3 that you want to apply that you want Rector to make changes then you will do this go to terminal run PSP artisan sorry vendor bin Rector process without dry run and it will make all the changes all right then you review that change and then commit and then you come here then you do 5.4 true so in this way you can gradually move up from your old version to new version all right so that is one way so if you are starting from latest uh, new version you don't need to worry about all these um, let's say you say you started on 8.2 and you want all the latest feature of 8.2 then you can just leave this like so and then it will make all the changes all right so let's uh, see what change it will make so it will look into app directory only so three files have been changed as you can see uh, let's let's explore these changes okay there we go uh, first thing uh, it uses this config um, okay so it uses uh, this short syntax fn instead of this long function syntax which has been introduced on 7.4 but for some reason we are not using that so it used that similarly it make uh, changes like this short arrow function so all uh, these kind of changes has been made so in your case according to project it will make uh, more changes so you get the idea right it also like done type casting so it also help us to automatic refactor meaning uh, if you are your code has like commented code and dead code which is um, no longer used like you are making return statement on top and then the code below is um, of no use then it will remove that this is what dead code do you can explore different option let me um, get you started on how you can explore these options so after you upgraded your PSV version you want to do the automatic refactoring for that you need to go into this levels all right so you want to go one level at a time let's say you have not been following all the coding standard and uh, your team is not um, or for whatever reason um, your code is not up to the mark uh, then you want to gradually improve uh, what you can do is first start with level 0 
then run PHP Rector and then level one, level two. So it makes a reviewing process quite easy and chances of any um, anything that Rector will do so that uh, you might uh, be not confident like whether it will break the code or things like that. So in such case, you can go slow. So another thing uh, to know about is different kind of rules or different kind of uh, sets. So these are uh, sets that comes with Rector. These are quite standard. So you don't need to define any custom rules or things like that. So for that, you can do, you can choose to go one level at a time or you can go all in with prepared sets and there are a lot of prepared sets you can see here PSB storm is saying uh, like there are dead code code quality coding style type declaration naming so you can read about all these sets what each of them do in in this uh, finding uh, find rules if you go here you'll see those kind of sets uh, let's say you want to learn about uh, dead code all right let's let's make dead code true dead code true just type in uh, dead code source you can see um, these are the rules that will be applied under dead code so there are a lot of rules under dead codes and dead code set you can click on here and these are all the rules that will be applied whenever you make dead code true all right so you can see uh, this will make change from this to like this suppose you are doing 5 plus 0 which is always 5 so it will remove that all right this is how you can explore Similarly, you can explore other options. You get the idea. So these are all the um, options available under your prepared sets. So only these two things will cover PSP upgrade as well as automatic refactoring. All right, You'll need, you don't need any other thing. Uh, for, um, let's say in some case you want to use custom sets, then you can uh, do things like with sets and then directly call the set that you are you want to use all right so this is how you can use other sets you can also define your custom uh, rules you can go into this advanced section upgrading laravel is also same thing you want to apply some rules that are under laravel upgrade all right so here you can see the necessary rules under these kind of set if you are upgrading to 7.1 framework then this rules so if you want to apply only this rule then um, here is how you apply with rules and then array just go here with rules and then you can provide array what kind of rules that you want to apply you can put here you got the idea right all right so this is how you apply uh, different kind of rules if you go into this set these are the all rule applied when you want to update to laravel framework 7. so this is how it satisfy all of our use cases of upgrading laravel automatic refactoring and psp upgrade all right so if you want to if you want me to dive deep into some of these use cases you can comment down on video i will dive uh, into each of these upgrade and so um, step by step so i will see you on another video hope this video help you to understand director psp and possibly um, you'll use this on your next project i'll see you on another video bye